What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one. Grizzly Wintergreen Pouches, the seasonal can. Um, and now that I have already hit play, I am thinking I may as well do a revisit on this. I don't know that I ever have or anything. I actually bought these, well I didn't buy them by accident, I was given them by accident by the cashier. And I said, she said, oh, I'm sorry, those are pouches. I said, you know what, I'll take them anyway. So here's the front of the can. Uh, different from the long cut, as you can see. Although it, it, with these, it does seem to be the same design per variety. Um, I probably honestly won't go and get straight and straight pouches and mint and mint pouches in this because... I don't like Grizzly Mint or Straight enough to um, go out and get extra cans if I don't have to. Um, I'm a little, you know, with with the amount of seasonal cans that Copenhagen and Grizzly do, collecting them all to me anymore has kind of lost its appeal. Um, but anyway, another interesting thing about this is that due to them having extra uh what would you call that i guess it's yeah it is definitely raised but it i think because the metal has been added to there it it you can kind of pop it so that's a little different uh green rim on the uh pouch can gold band across it 50 cents off box as they often do this is for the outdoor core um yeah promotional stuff there so I'm going to be back in a minute with a mud jug because I decided that we're going to make this a revisit in addition to the can design. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I am back. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't remember the last time I had Grizzly Wintergreen in pouch form. Um, as you know, I dip the long cut daily. Uh, it is to the point where, you know... For a long time, I would switch off and such, and I would use up whatever I reviewed with as at ease. There was a long period of time where I didn't have any regular dip, and it was just whatever I was reviewing, because I was reviewing stuff so often that I pretty much always had something. But it seems like as time goes on, I, I settle more into just the same old saying. Uh, I'm kind of surprised by that, but it's almost like when I try, uh, what else? I don't know. I had something to use up in there that I, that I bought and it was like a, a chore getting through it. And it wasn't a bad dip. It was just like, oh yeah, I got to dip this again to use it up. So anyway, standard grizzly pouch, definitely moist. I think the date was J9, so very fresh, um, you know, standard size dip pouch. I think there's 18 to a can, if I remember, with Grizzly. I always throw two pouches in. Uh, dip pouches, that is. I'll throw one snooze in. I'll definitely only throw one nicotine pouch in. Uh, although, if it's Velo, you could probably throw two in, and it wouldn't do anything anyway. Uh, I gave it... I, the Velo, I, I hate to say it, but I gave it high marks in the reviews because that was the first time i tried both of them but as i went to use them up i saw its usefulness decline throughout um anyway i have seen the copenhagen ones i have seen some of the other grizzly ones um like i said i had my reasons for not uh buying the other grizzly ones because they're flavors i don't care for but uh, I would I would go and get Copenhagen Mint or Wintergreen or possibly the Snuff just because the Snuff looks pretty great. Uh, not that not that I'm overly keen on Copenhagen Snuff for using it. I think it's a good flavor and all, but uh, the reason I passed on the Copenhagen so far is I have been working in Philadelphia for a, like the last two and a half three months, and uh, yeah, I went into a Wawa this morning. And Copenhagen 
mint and wintergreen, the discounted ones were five fifty nine if you bought two, and that's five fifty nine per can. So I was like, yeah, that's a little steep just to have for a collectible can. So I will wait until I was home, and now I'm home and I forgot all about it already until this video. So anyway. Um, other news, I don't really know, um, I have been kind of busy and had videos on the back burner as of lately, um, I did post that video, uh, or not, I didn't post the video, I posted in the community tab about the discontinued dips, and just to clarify, I wouldn't actually be sourcing them to review, I would just put up a picture of one and talk about it and all of that. And the reason I've stalled out on that is every time I think about making it, I find more dips that were discontinued. Either somebody posted on Reddit, some unheard of brand or some unheard of flavor of an existing brand. And I just sit there like, well, where did this come from? Now I gotta go look that one up and then get disappointed when I can't find any information on it. So <laughs> that's why that hasn't gotten anywhere. I made a big list of stuff to talk about and then I kept finding more and then I just kind of pushed it off to the side. It's still something I want to do at some point. I may be maybe weeks down the road at this point, but um, these are juicing up pretty nicely for pouches. I think the flavor of the wintergreen in pouch form is definitely more mild. Um, I used to not like grizzly wintergreen back when I was like 20, 21, maybe not even that late, but definitely when I started this channel, I was about 19. So um then I really I did not like Grizzly Wintergreen at all and then I don't know what happened one day when I was in college and I picked up a can of it and I loved it and um I for a while I was on and off with it and then it became my regular dip probably since like I want to say since like 2016 or 17 I've been pretty regularly dipping Grizzly Wintergreen. I went through a Copenhagen Mint kick in the middle there, um, and then I have bought other things to revisit and snooze and all that, but, um, and lately the nicotine pouches, but um, an average day is still the long cut. Well, the an average day is probably split up between the long cut and then ONS coffee nicotine pouches. I, I don't know what it is, but I love the flavor of those things, and it's probably one of the only non-tobacco um, dip substitutes, whatever you want to call it, that I could see myself managing to switch over if I desired to. Um, there's a lot that I've tried that are certainly good, but if I'm not intending to quit, it's, it would be a difficult transition. But with those on, I mean, I could probably, I could probably go for it tomorrow and I would not really miss much. I mean, the only thing is the coffee gets to be a little repetitive all day. But uh, so that's why I kind of split it up between Grizzly and those on as my current regular dips, if you will. Um... As far as I've been looking, there isn't too much new on the market right now um, that I haven't already covered. As far as things I need to get, uh, and I realize this is drifting well off of the original <laughs> intention of this video, but since I haven't been on here in a while, I thought I'd just kind of chat. Um, what I need yet is like obscure chews, which I'm not going to be able to find around me. Um a couple of Stoker's pound bags, which number one, I am a little reluctant to buy a whole pound of anything. Even if it is good and Stoker's, it's just a lot for me. And um, I honestly think a lot of those even uh, are not sold around me, the remaining ones. I think it's Tequila Sunrise, the Tennessee Original, I some reason never reviewed. I believe I can find that. Uh, the Moonshine, I don't believe I can find locally. And 
Red Supreme Bold I cannot find locally, and I, I think there's one more yet, and I haven't done that. I haven't done, I've done the Big Mountain, the classic flavor. I haven't done the Apple and Peach if they're still made. Um, I haven't done Decade Dip. I am not really interested in going out of my way to find that. I've never seen it in stores, so it must not be sold on my part of the country at all. Um, there's a couple Klondike fine cuts that I've never been able to find, and I've never been all that fascinated in finding. And, um, there were kayak pouches. I don't know if their history with the new can design. I think with the new can design, they actually added a kayak flavor. I think they added a kayak cherry. Again, I, I don't think it's going to be great. If I find it, I would review it, but I mean... And then I believe, I don't know, but I believe they may have done away with the other um, Swisher brands that were, oh, well, Gold River has been gone a while. And Suit and Tie said he heard a rumor that it could come back, but I, I don't know about that. Um, Cooper and Redwood seem to have been pulled from the Northerner and the Swisher website. Just in case the one guy that bought both of those misses them. Um, I never tried Redwood. Suit and Tie described it as the worst dip smokeless tobacco product ever. So I, I <laughs> again, eh. um, so as, as far as things that are on the market, there is not much left. Um, you know, there would be, there would be chew and stuff but it's probably gonna have to be sourced from somebody else because I just I don't have access to it not even um you know basically even out further in Pennsylvania not that I've been out you know in the central part of the state lately or anything but I've pretty much done all of the stuff that I could find locally so um you know I can't really get a lot of twist here or anything maybe one kind or something but so, you know, that's pretty much that. Um, I could go back to revisiting, but as I said, I, I, I've kind of fallen into this, you know, routine with my regular dips, and uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not overly thrilled with revisiting stuff if I'm not going to use it. And I already did revisit a lot of Copenhagen, a lot of Skull, uh, a lot of the premium stuff. Um, so we'll see, and I mean... We'll, we'll see what happens. And the other thing I was trying to get a hold of was Thunder and uh, the new flavors. They have a mint and a wintergreen out on the U.S. market. I was hoping they'd be actually better than the other three that they released uh, last year, I suppose that was. But I haven't been able to track them down. Every place on the store locator that says they have it doesn't have it, doesn't carry it at all. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, but anyway, the, the Grizzly Wintergreen pouches, maybe we'll get back to that. Um, definitely a nice, a nice change up, a nice, uh, you know, if you would need pouches for some reason, this is a pretty solid substitute for the long cut. I think the, I'm getting a little bit more of a tingle and I think it's probably just because the placement is different than in a pinch of long cut. Um, but as far as flavor, it's it's pretty close. It's just a little more mellowed down, watered down, whatever you want to say. Um, but I will have no problem finishing the can, that's for sure. Um, check out Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, because unlike me, he has been uploading regularly. Uh, Dirty Pat Walsh, who I have fallen behind on yet again, uh, according to one of his videos, he was in the States recently, down in, uh, New Orleans, I believe. Um, Snuff Strings, uh, Waitside Lee 83, No Bluff Buff, uh, Snooze Freak, and I guess that's about everybody. Um, rating on the wintergreen pouches, I would say, I would say a solid, uh, 9 out of 10. There are replicate the flavor I'm used to very well. If I was looking for a pouch substitute um, in dip, I would go for it. I really don't buy pouches much unless they're the nicotine pouches. 
uh, for basically, because if I look at it this way, at this point, now that I've tried all those nicotine pouches, if I want to go pouch, I, I probably need to not be spitting for wherever I am, and that those things solve the problem. You can be discreet as you want, you could do it anywhere, it even says on the on container, anywhere, anytime, or something like that. So, um, I, I would take those over these, because the spitting is still here, but um, if for some reason I would want one, this is probably what I would buy. Excellent can design. Um, and you know, I mean, Copenhagen, I haven't held one in my hand yet, but I think this just pops a little bit more than Copenhagen's. Copenhagen's last couple have been more subtle, um, uh, you know, and I mean, that might appeal to some people, but I just kind of like the what they're going for here so that is about that for this one i probably took up a lot more of your time than you wanted so thanks for watching anyway <laughs> and i'll see you next time take care